Good morning, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I hope you guys are blessed and well on today. I do want to say, I was hearing, like, you need to be careful with this um, friend or whatever this is of yours that be at your house. Sister, brother, whoever, I don't know who this is. Somebody be at your house, and it's like, they love when you argue with your person or something. Like, you may live with your person. Like, this, whoever this is, you're in a relationship with, you're, you're living with them. And this person comes over often is what I'm hearing. Surrender. They, it's like they love to see drama. It's because it, they, it seems like this person is trying to stick around to see what it is that's going wrong in your relationship so that they can bring some kind of offer to this person behind your back. Um, like, oh, let me see where they're fucking up at. Let me see what they're doing wrong. And I'm going to make sure that I don't do that kind of energy. Yeah, this is somebody like that. Like, they want to have a relationship with the person that you're with. Yeah, you're going to find this extremely funny. Humor. So surrender, fear, worry in the reverse, humor. I don't feel like you're worried about it though. I just feel like maybe you're you're just you're you're probably just paranoid to be on your own or something. Like you've been with this person for so long. Service, I feel good when I can help others. So it's it's some some kind of job that you have to do. I feel like when you find this shit out, you're not gonna be able to forgive this person or something. Like you're really not gonna have no kind of respect for this person, which I feel. You dig a real shit. Like I definitely feel you on that film asking, but I mean, people gonna be people. Just let it go. Friendship. I'm trying to tell you, this is a friend of yours. This person's not being honest with you. They're lying. This person is... You You can either get rid of this person or get rid of your person. Either way it goes, your person and this person. I don't feel like your person is fucking with this person, but at any given time, if things just went south with you, they'll, they'll, they'll end up balancing something out with this person because they don't have any discipline. Like, fam, this man can live with you. Right, and your um your friend be coming over or something like that. They love when y'all get into an argument, <laughs> and it's like this part like you put this nigga out. This person be right there to pick them up and like, oh, you can come to my house, you can come stay with me or something like that. Y'all better be careful. I'm definitely picking that up. Empathy. You you may be feeling sorry for this person. Does this person live with you too? You're very successful, and your self esteem is on a hundred. Like your your confidence is on a hundred right here. So. It's like, no matter what, you're going to be just fine. It seems like this person here, is, they're jealous of that. Yeah, love in the reverse. Something ain't, it's something ain't right. It's indecision here, too. Something ain't right with this relationship. I feel like you already know this, but you may not know exactly where something is stemming from. Because you're a happy person regardless, I feel. You didn't risk you. Like, whoever you are, you're happy anyway, but... You know, um, I don't I don't feel like it takes a person to make you happy. I feel like you're already a happy person. So it's something about your happiness, about you just being able to protect your peace and things like that. I'm seeing that peace card on this deck. You just you got peace. It's time to go from something because somebody is not loyal. Somebody ain't right right here. This person right here love. I mean, when I tell you they enjoy seeing you to argue or something like that like they be right there for it it's drinks weed you know whatever the fuck the case may be whatever y'all folk be doing chilling with your friends or whatever the case may be this person loves coming to your house they're not truly happy this is a lonely bitch or a lonely nigga whoever this is fam i can take it how it resonates you did a real skill but yeah you're very blessed it seems like once you get rid of this person whoever you need to get rid of like if it's this bitch if this is this nigga whoever this is your friend or um, this person that you had this relationship with. It's like when you walk away from somebody, you're definitely going to be seeing a difference in your life. Because it's like this person loves to show off or something. It's like when your friend is around, this person shows off in front of your friend. Or they try to exert some kind of authority that they don't fucking have. And you be like, okay, yeah, I don't let you have that shit. Or they may do this in front of their friends. Yeah, higher power building block. Something is not for you. Like you already know this. It's like you already know this. You're already preparing to leave or something like that. Somebody is preparing to leave somebody just period. Because this person is full of shit. Or this is you. I told you I seen the peace card. But it's in the reverse. A leg up in the reverse. So yeah, somebody don't got no true peace. It's, it's like they trying to disrupt your shit because they don't got no peace. But see, if this is your fucking friend. It seems like your friend be trying to get you to stay with this person. Because they don't want something that they're doing to come out or something. You would think that a bitch would want you to break up with this man. Or a nigga would want you to break up with this woman. 
they don't want y'all to break up. They want you because this person don't have no, it, it's like they don't have no life without you, but also without this person too, which is very strange. This, this person is playing more than one. Time for a nap in the reverse. Stop letting this bitch sleep in your fucking house. Go the distance. All that glitter. Stop letting this person sleep in your house. This person is after your person. And they, it's like they want a real, actual relationship with them. And it's like, well, let me watch. Let me, let me watch. Let me, let me see what the fuck they arguing about now. Let me see how the hell she reacts or how he reacts to them. Or you didn't really feel like, let me make sure I never do that kind of energy. All the people in the fucking world, this person, they want to be with the person that you got because they want everything you have. A change in the wind here. This, this person right here is, they're going to give them a very hard time is what I'm hearing. Even if they do end up fucking with your friend, they're going to, they're going to have, they're going to have a very hard time with this person because this person is not you. Yeah, this person is not happy. Somebody is just not happy here. Between worlds to the C reverse and happy, happy in the reverse. You're not, you're not going to, it just seems like you're not going to put up with nothing. Like you're not putting up with this shit. Like, oh, okay, cool. Like leave. I don't care. That's the truth rule. Like leave. You're doing me a fucking favor. I'm telling you, you have a friend that is not happy. This person, this person will never know happiness. And it may appear that this person is happy, but they're not. This person always around you. They're smiling. They may got a couple dollars or something. You did not issue. Like they, they may have a little bit of something going on, but this is only to impress your person or something. Yeah, something is just not for you. Like this person will suck a thousand dicks. Before they hang out with you and this man or this woman, you know, and they'll they'll get some kind of money or something just to make sure that they don't have to depend on you because they want to appear to be independent to your person. Breathe yin and yang, not yin and yang, but yin. I'm tripping. Chop wood in reverse. Yeah, this this person don't want you to cut them off. Like I said, they don't they don't want to not be friends with you. They don't want y'all to break up. They want y'all to stay together. But they're it's like they're they're monitoring. They're monitoring, like, arguments or something. Exchanging gifts to be fair in the reverse. What the fuck is this shit? Unfinished symphony and orphan reverse. Like I said, they don't want y'all to break up at all. This person gets some kind of adrenaline, is what I'm hearing. A, a, a adrenaline rush. Somebody named Andrina or Adrena or something like that. Drina, Trika, something like that. Somebody sees you're getting wish fulfillment. This this is one of them people that, you know, it's like, they, it's a fun time with this person. Like, this is a fun girl, a fun boy here. You get a issue. Like, you, you have fun with this person, but that's pretty much it. But it's like they're, they're, they're scoping out your relationship more than anything else. And it's like, whoever you are, divine feminine, you've been trying to put this bitch on to all kind of good dudes. But they don't want them. They want your person. They want whoever it is you're with. And it seems like you have already caught on to this, or you will... Are you going to catch on to like, damn bitch, you want my man, damn nigga, you want my girl, don't you? It's like this person always got some kind of emergency or something to why they can't be alone. Like they need to come to your house. Look, that's the truth of the rule. I'm trying to tell you. They always got something going on to where they cannot be at their house or whatever the fuck. Choose wisely in the reverse third eye chakra. This is something you don't see coming. Obstacles and challenges, material and spiritual prosperity. Like you literally don't see this shit coming. Like wow, bitch, the whole time. Wow, nigga, the whole time. Yeah, you wanted my bitch. You wanted my nigga. The whole goddamn time. And it's like, this this person right here is trying to study you. Like I said, they're studying something that you're doing. Like, oh, when they argue, she says this or he says this, they do that. Okay, well, I'm going to make sure I don't do... I'm going to be the complete opposite of this person. Partnerships and alliances. Uh, memories of love in the reverse. Destiny in the reverse. Yeah, this it's not destined for you to be a part of something anymore. Somebody's playing games. Thank you, Chakra. You could, you could be literally not giving this person any at the time as well. At this time, you may not be having sex with this person. Maybe you found out they cheated or something. You're like, yeah, nah, I ain't fucking you. I'm not doing none of that shit. So it's truly like you're out the door anyway. It seems like somebody's already out the fucking door. Yeah, and you're not confused about it. There's nothing to be confused about because you already know what the fuck type of energy this is. Like, you already know. Like, your intuition is spot on right now. You're not tripping. I'm confirming. Power heartache and loss like i'm literally confirming something for someone here right now like you are not tripping your friend wants your person and they love like hanging out at your house especially if you went out last night or something with this bitch or this nigga and they just spent the night at your house like y'all folks might have been drinking might have been smoking whatever the case may be having a good time 
but it's like this you you're not you're not really passionate about something or someone anymore and you're gonna end up moving on yeah disruption this is a tower this is a fucking tower accelerated motion this this person right here the only it's like the only reason why they're hanging around y'all so much is they, they don't this is not like Oh, yeah, this is my friend, and they got my back, and they want to just chill. No, this is the bitch that's literally sitting back studying your relationship so that they know what not to do with this person because they know eventually, like, oh, she keep putting him out or he keep putting her out. I'm going to be right there to pick them up, and they're going to get tired of it eventually. Moving on. What I said, child, disruption. It's a lot of towers here. But you have victory. I heard you are the breadwinner. So whoever, I mean, whoever you are, you gonna be just fine. Especially when it comes to your paper and shit. Like, you gonna be good. Like, the money is not an issue with you. I just feel like it's loyalty. I feel like it's the people around you. I don't feel like you truly have an issue with making money or anything like that. I feel like you got an issue with motherfuckers that ain't loyal. This has been going on your entire life. It's always somebody that wants something that you have. And it's this bitch or this nigga. This person has been around you for years. And you think that this is your friend or something. I mean, the first chance that this person gets to fuck your person, they would do it. And I mean, like, start a whole last relationship and everything. This could have already happened, too. You have to definitely take these messages how the fuck they resonate to you. We. Universe. Yeah, something is playing out anyway. Something, something is going to play out. You have the authority to move on. Like I said, nothing moves without you anyway. You're the prosperity here. Whoever you are, you're you're the one that's recognized. You got a deceiving, envious friend, I'm telling you. And it's something that they're trying to slow down. It's like, um, if you go to this person and you talk about what's going on in your relationship and your love life, this person is like, they're literally so happy. Like, I never picked up on the energy of a bitch this damn happy to see something going wrong with you and your person and they're supposed to be your friend. This is somebody that's in your motherfucking house or it's your sister, your brother, whoever. I don't give a fuck who this is. You know who this is. I don't. I heard Carrollton, Carrollton, Georgia, or Carrollton County, Carroll County, or something like that. So my name could be Carolyn, Carrollton, Carrington, something. This is a jealous ass hoe right here. This it's like life. This this person's life gonna go to shit, and your person's life is going to go to shit. Like as soon as they start fucking with this person, their whole life is gonna go to shit. Literally, for for one, it's karma, but for two, it's like they're being misled. Like somebody's being mischievous as fuck. Adjacent possibilities, woman holding a heart. Somebody is definitely not on the up and up when it comes to being a friend to you. And it's like they never truly give you good advice. This person always just trying to cover up something. Like, you will be like, okay, well, you're single. What advice could you give me anyway? But it's like, just because you're single don't mean that you can't give good advice. You figure it's you. This person ain't trying to give you no fucking advice. Like, they're, they're not trying to give you no true advice. They're telling you, yeah, stay with them, you know, um... Maybe it's this or maybe it's that. Maybe work is stressing them out or something. Like, nah, bitch. If somebody is not treating you properly, then your friend is going to be like, man, I don't like that motherfucker. See, a lot of people be thinking that their friends be hating on them when they come to me. Like, man, I seen that. I seen that, bitch. I don't like that person. Most times, friendships end like that because, you know, your friend got some kind of opinion, but this person ain't got no opinion. And then it turns out that your friend was right the whole time. Like, yeah, I knew it was something up with that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Fam, that's something you got to be very vigilant in this energy here. Yeah, because it's something it's something that's going on. Adjacent possibilities, woman holding heart, patience reverse, magician in the mirror. All these fucking illusions, appreciation, indecision, community. It's a lot of damn illusions here. Angel of balance. There are many, it's, it's like many illusions, like when it comes to this person your friend or whoever the case may be whoever this is i don't know somebody is causing illusions in the background they do not want you truly to be happy but it's like they want to make sure they got something situated before like you know they see you constantly arguing with this person they trying to make sure they got all they shit together before they welcome this person in with open fucking arms and shit you dig a room for real our Angel Chamuel here. You got the sun card. So I feel like life is going to get much better for you once you get rid of this loser. I feel like this person is a loser. It's either this friend or your person. Like, somebody is not faithful anyway. Like, whatever these arguments is and shit that y'all be having, this person is going to fall for something that this bitch is going to say or do. Healer of the Ages here. Metatron is in the reverse. 
gardening the gay angel of love and deceit. I can't make this shit up. It's like they're both being deceiving to you, but this this person is not originally deceiving. Like whoever your person is, they're not originally deceiving, but they will become deceiving because your friend is sitting back studying everything. It's like when y'all be arguing, this person is very, very quiet, which they should be quiet. It, I mean, because that would be getting in your business, right? But it's not like they're quiet because like, oh, that ain't my business. This person is quiet because they're looking at your actions. It's like, um, yeah, I'm going to study this bitch. I'm going to study this nigga. Like, oh, okay, so that's what they don't like. They don't like this. Okay, so let me, I'm going to take a mental note of what they don't fucking like. It's like they're preparing themselves to be with this person. Wow. Action, anxiety, daughter value, yin and yang, reverse, walking away, reverse. Yeah, something is just not right. It's, it just seems like everything you have, this person wants it, period. And they're going to get it by any means. But they have to pretend like they're truly your friend or something. I mean, you'll know if this person was genuinely your fucking friend. And I feel like you've been looking at this bitch side eye anyway. It's something that this person did or said. And it made you look at them sideways. Door to personal healing and happiness. And there go our angel Raphael. Yeah. I heard Bremen, B R E M A N. Yeah, you're just over here chilling, I feel. I mean, if motherfuckers feel like they want to do anything, you're they're gonna be the ones that's asked out, I feel. Because you can you can you can bring an ending on anybody and not think about their ass at all. You don't give a fuck. Whoever you are, you just truly don't give a damn in this energy. Like you really don't. And I feel like that's what motherfuckers got you fucked up. Like, you just truly don't care. Like, oh, okay. Go do that. Fine. Because, you know, it's it's, it's a chance that you could be slimy as fuck anyway. You already knew what this person was on. Maybe you're just feeling a little bit cocky or in your emo emotions or your feelings or something like that. Just because this is your person and this is a so-called friend. And then they're going to end up being together or something. But, I mean... Things, certain, things happen certain ways for a certain reason. You dig a rich you like it, it's a reason why something is coming to an end. Yeah, this bitch right here, I'm telling you, you need to stop letting this person in your house. Like, if you care about your relationship, stop letting this bitch or this nigga in your home. If you don't, if you don't care, then, I mean, whatever the fuck. But I'm telling you, it's a bit, it's a main male, main female. You need to stop letting them journey to your house. I'm telling you, you should be very concerned about this person being in your home. This person may call you and say, hey, I ain't got nowhere to go. This person is fucking lying. They just know. So, so you either live together with this person. You either live with this person or this person comes to your house very often or something. This bitch is like a third wheel. Like they always want to be right there. Like you can go out to eat with this person or something and they want to come too. Like, can my friend come? Baby, can my friend come or something? It's like this person is trying to make your person get used to them being around or some shit. Yeah, this is male or fucking female. So, fam, this bitch, masculine, this nigga be at your fucking house. He wants your girl. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody feels like they're going to gain some kind of sudden wealth by getting this person or something. Y'all better be careful with these motherfuckers to see your house. What else is here, Dad? Thank you very much for the messages. Yeah. High honor and then sudden wealth in the reverse. So, yeah, this, this person is just trying to come up. They're trying to come up off of your person or something. It's like this this person got a real big down ego. And you could even be married. You're going to find out somebody is some swingers, too. Like, you ain't know they were with swingers. Like, your friends with swingers or some shit. And you're going to find that out. Baby. What else is here? All the way home is just playing... So, I feel like somebody last name Braxton, too. Somebody named Tanisha. What else is here? So, it's, um, I feel like pretty much up to you, whatever you choose to accept or don't. You dig a rich you? Two major icon of the fool in the death card, Scorpio, Aries energy, Ten of Swords. This person is betraying you behind your back and in your fucking face. It's like Sag energy. This person lives to. Whoever this motherfucker is, bro, this person, look, when I tell you they love when you argue with this person, they love it, bro. This person gets, it's no better entertainment than when y'all are arguing or something. The ace of one, look at all of this shit that came out. Goodness gracious. This person is looking for a come up, literally. 
Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, the Sun, Emperor. Yeah, they want your person. And it seems like this person may be trying to prove something to their self or to their family or something like that. Why are you still single? Or, you know, um, where are my grandkids at? I'm hearing somebody, mama say, where are my grandbabies at? Where's this person that you claim you met? And like they like they not gonna take the advice that you gave them, trying to put them on to your to people that you knew. This person was your person. They like, no, that's the person I need to take home to my mom or my dad. Four of Pentacles reverse, there's the eight of swords. You're you're not seeing something clearly with this person. This is not your fucking friend. This person is a rat. It's like they literally be sitting back in the background watching. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this Scorpio. Whoever the fuck this is, this person sits back and they wait for an argument to go with you and your person or something. And they cause some kind of judgment. Like, okay, yeah. Well, I ain't gonna do that. I'll be a better person. And then the shit that y'all argue about, it be stupid shit. It seems like this person may be even enticing arguments in the background. Like, you may not know this. Yeah. But they're, they're being sneaky to cause the ending and slow something down. I'm telling you, bro. It's like you can't tell this bitch or this nigga nothing that goes on with you and this person. You can't tell them shit because it's like they always want to come over that same night or King of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. This is the Emperor. So, like, it's it's like Yeah, we just broke up. You want me to have a drink? You wanna have a drink or something? And the time they come ahead to your house, this nigga's at their house sleep or something. This is King of Pentacles. And it don't necessarily, you guys could just live together. I don't feel like this person is just broke or something. I just feel like they live with you. Or they be at your house very often or something. The sun, Leo energy, this person, uh-uh, what the fuck is this? This person right here, I don't know Divine Family. It's my name, Delvina or D David or something like that. Hey man, the moon. It's like you're stuck in limbo. Like, you don't know what to do. It's like, when she get rid of both of they motherfucking ass, I don't want to get rid of my girl. I don't want to get rid of my man. But this is my friend. Yeah, okay. What else is here? It's something that this person is planning to do. I'm telling you, the six of clubs. This person is trying to get a victory here. They're trying to get some kind of victory, but enticing drama. I don't know how to fuck this person will be enticing drama in your relationship though. 22, 22. Like, how could this person have that much control over your person and you? Oh, I heard motherfuckers like to show off. Okay. Yeah, you're going to end up being in the Nine of Pentacles and you're going to go into a different relationship. I don't feel like there's no. Abuse, like that's what I'm saying. Like I don't feel like this person is putting their hands on you, or you putting your hands on somebody. I don't feel like that. I just truly don't feel that. I just feel like this person. I feel like whoever this person is, they just want your person. It's like they're banking, they're waiting on the day for something to end with you all. What's the nine of pentacles? Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, Divine Feminine is good by herself. Divine Masculine is good on their own. It's it's something that I don't like about this person. It's like they're studying this relationship just only to see what the fuck not to do with your person, though. It's like, nah, I ain't gonna do that with my girl. I ain't gonna do that with my man. Nah, nah, nah. This person right here is like, oh, that's gonna be my girl. That's gonna be my man. So I'm, not, I'm gonna make sure I don't annoy them or I'm gonna make sure that I make... Their grits correctly or something like that. Yeah, this person feel like they got some kind of good chemistry with your person. That's weird. Divine Pill, who is this bitch that was at your house last night? Whoever this bitch, I don't care if it's your mama. I don't give a fuck who this is. Somebody wants a person. And they would literally sneak around. Like, they enjoy sneaking with this person. They don't want y'all to break up. They want you to, they want to sneak around with them. Just period. And this is not for everybody. My name Deja. This is not for every fucking body, okay? Here, just to put that out there. This is not for everybody. This is not everybody's message. This is a fucking karmic. I cannot make this up. Karmic friends can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. Keep your friends closer and your enemies closer. Forces things on you, forces their way in. This person right here loves being a third wheel. Like I said, this person always gotta be right there or something. Like, what the fuck? You need to stop inviting this bitch to any damn thing. This hoe is fake fucking smiling fuck. 
This person just wants to be close to you, to be close to your person. It's like the energy that your person holds and the energy that you hold, this person, they, they are addicted or something like that. They can't get enough of this person. It's like they all, this person be coming to your house overdressed. Like, bitch, what the fuck do you have on that kind of energy? They getting their karma. They're getting bad karma. You're getting good karma. Good karma. We. Oui. This person's gonna get their shit because it's something about your person that this person just doesn't know. They're a spiritual hater too. They want to block some kind of offer. So I, I don't know what this is, fam. Divine Master, I don't know what in the hell this is, but this person be literally kissing your ass. Like this, this person tries to stare. They don't want y'all to break up. Well, not now. They don't want anything to go wrong. They're trying to make sure that they can stick around. I, I really feel like this person gets some kind of thrill. Like they get a rush out of sneaking around with your person or uh, attempting to sneak around with them or even just the fantasy of sneaking around with this person. I don't know. Like, oh, this is my best friend. This is my best friend. Like, damn, we shouldn't be doing this kind of energy. Yeah. You gonna end up running these folks off like some kind of way. It seems like somebody gonna end up fighting this out. You're gonna snap or something. Like you're gonna physically see something though. It's not like I'm telling you this and you don't know. First of all, somebody already knows this is going on. You may not have no physical proof. But this person is wasting time. You may not have physical proof of something, but you will get it. This is confirmation for somebody. I'm just confirming something that you already know. They lost their chance or you did. I feel like somebody lost their chance with you. <clears throat> It's like they got some kind of system, some kind of strategy to keep you guys arguing or something. Or maybe you only argue when this person is around or something like that. Like, damn, you love trying to show off in front of that bitch or, you know, in front of this nigga. This nigga come over here and you showing the fuck off. You know, you talking to me any kind of fucking way instead of partnering with me, like being on my side. You taking this far, you laughing at all these jokes that ain't even funny and shit. Wow. What's the wolf and she's calling? This is a wolf that you're dealing with, him. Divine Master, I'm telling you, this person ain't right. Yeah, head in the clouds. This person just be sitting back thinking of what it would be like to be with your person. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that nigga one day. I'm going to get rid of this bitch one day. You ain't going to be with that person forever. Like, okay, the next time you tell them to leave or the next time, yeah, I'm going to just invite them to my house or something. Somebody also can't find any dirt on you because you're not broke or something. Like, somebody trying to prove that you're broke or that you're, like, a broken spirit. They can't find this. They can't find this information that they're seeking here. Yeah, they're looking. Somebody's definitely looking you up. I feel like your friend has even went to the extent of, like, doing a background check on you. They're trying to present something to your person about you. This person is, they they trying to, they, this, this person is not happy for you. I'm telling you. All their advances are blocked. I mean, towards you, it's blocked. If you got to get rid of this nigga or this bitch to have peace, then do so by any means. You dig a real for real. Because I'm telling you, there's something here that's not right. But it's with your friend. Like, this this person ain't right right here. It's like they literally... I'm seeing this person, bro. This person gets so hard. Like, they get wet. They get hard. Like, when y'all argue or something, they just like, yeah, well, I'm going to be with that person. Yeah, keep arguing with them. Keep arguing Something turns this person on, like, with you arguing with your person. And it's like they go home and they fantasize about this here. The fuck? They go home and they fantasize about it. This person be seeing your person out places. Like, when you be at work, like, your person may be out somewhere. This person be having full fledged conversations with this person. And you'll be like, well, why the fuck is you talking to my nigga when I ain't around? Why are you talking to my girl when I'm not around or something like that? I mean, it's something that it seems like this person be trying to put themselves in the same goddamn vicinity as your person. Like, your person could hang out in a certain spot. This bitch or this nigga know that you be at work. Look, the office. I can't make this shit up. They know you're at work. They know this person may hang out there or go show up there, too, to hang out with them and have some side conversation when you're not around. And neither one of them will tell you that they saw each other or something. Yeah, whatever this shit is, is unrealistic. Because whatever the fuck this person is doing... Whatever this person is doing to seemingly be available to this bitch or this nigga, they'll do the same exact thing to them. That's what I'm saying. This, this shit is real stupid because this person is like studying your relationship, but it's like they can't visibly see that this person, they're obviously doing something to trigger you. It's something here that this person is definitely, they trying to make sure 
this person be acting like they watching TV, but they truly be watching your person or something. Especially, I'm hearing early in the morning. You may sleep in and your person will be up or something. These folks be smoking and shit together and everything. Do you know this? Planner. Like, do you know this shit? I feel like somebody just took a loss as well, but then you about to get some brand new money. Do you know that these people be up at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning smoking fucking weed? Yeah, fear. I, I feel like you know something ain't right. And this might be your cousin or sister or something. But see, you're lucky. You're the person. You're going to end up celebrating. Like once you, it seems like something has been dragging anyway here in your energy. Like you've been feeling stagnant. Like you've been feeling really stagnant and it's because of this person. It's like when you get rid of this person, you're not going to go against yourself. That's just what I'm telling you. You're not going to go against yourself and what you feel. But it's like you're going to get some physical proof or something. Yeah, this this is not going to be successful. You're going you're gonna to take a loss here with this person. But I feel like it's for the best. You're not truly losing anything. It's just like, okay, well, we are, we had already showed you this. I feel like my dad had already showed you. Look. I'm just telling you, it's time for something to end the tower here. You're too beautiful. You're too handsome to. And not only your looks, but your, your character. Like, you're too good of a fucking person to deal with anything like this. And see, that's why I be telling y'all, bro, use your fucking discernment with anybody, bro. You can't trust anybody. Not in your house, not around your person. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's some setbacks here. Like, what the fuck make you think you can trust this bitch or this nigga in your house? I don't give a fuck how far back y'all folks go. This person is slime as fuck, or this is you. This person slime as fuck, bro. This person don't have any good intention for you for real. They they just literally sticking around so that they can woo your person. Is what the fuck I'm hearing? It's a science that they're using. It's a method this person is using. There's literally a method here. It's like they be causing these arguments. It's like as soon as you get into an argument, this person is gonna pull up with a bottle or some weed or something like that. They want to know all about it. And I feel like they're heavily into spirituality as well. Not saying because someone is into spirituality that they're a bad person, but I'm saying this person is into like the darker side of spirituality is what I'm saying. Look, haters are lying about you. These haters are bringing you income. This is not going to do nothing but make you make more money or something like that. Look, an old friend of me is still pressed over some fuck shit. They will play victim once they know they're losing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's something, it's something here that this person has been taking advantage of. And it's like, oh, okay, well, we friends. They shouldn't expect me or something like that. Yeah, but you do. This person is very strategic. Like, they, they stick around solely. Like, you would think all of the people in the world, this person is stick, uh, sticking around you to study this relationship, study your wrongs and your rights, and then do the opposite of everything that you're doing just to secure your person or something. I feel like this bitch right here be texting this man. They be texting this man phone from fake ass numbers. Or they got some kind of fake shit going on. Or they're going to text. It's like, okay, wow, wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody is going to, you going to be with your person. And this bitch or this nigga is going to send some kind of text message to your person's phone. To make it seem like this is somebody that they're cheating with. But they're not even cheating. This person is setting something up. Your energetic come up drains their demons. Look at this, collecting the dirt on you in the reverse. Like I said, somebody can't find no dirt on you. Like, whatever the fuck they're looking for, they're not going to find it. I mean, there's nothing to find. Whatever this is, they don't have access to. But, um, yeah, this this person right here is like, they real sneaky. But it's like, they smile in your face. Inboxing your followers, trying to turn them against you. I feel like, like I said... Not necessarily followers. Like, if you do have followers or something, like, if you are in the public eye, this person does this shit, too. They inbox people to try to turn them against you. It's like they're slowly and surely trying to walk in your shoes. Like, you overpower them without you even knowing it. It's something that you just clearly don't see. They see you getting all this love and can't stand it. I can't make this up. They low-key feed off your confidence. Bro, this person right here is playing fucking games, bro. I see right through this person. It's like they be sitting right there. They want you to mention them to gain clout. 
this this person right here, bro. It's and and then too, it's like once they once they are in this relationship with your ex or something, it's like they're gonna start trying to throw jabs or something at you because they're gonna be bored in the relationship, like the same shit that they saw you going through with this person. They're gonna start going through it. Look, purposely triggering you to fuck with your name. I can't make this simple. I just can never make no shit up like this. This person definitely playing. Like, this, this person, they thought that they were getting some kind of prize or something when you are the prize. Like, oh, okay. Posted things directly towards you instead of coming directly to you. Like I said, the itty bitty bitch right here. They feel like they done secured this person or secured something. No, they didn't. You knew this person wasn't shit or something like that. You, it was something about this person. Look, someone in your immediate circle is the one causing energetic chaos. Man, I'm trying to tell you, this person right here is very strategic. Somebody named Simone. They will expose themselves. Man, I, I just cannot. I just cannot, bro. It's something about that person. It's like when they come around, you are so blinded to this. Like, stop selling this person when you get into an argument and all that shit. Plotting and scheming is part of their lifestyle and hobby. Man, come on, bro. I know I'm right the fuck on point with whatever the hell this is. This, man, this is male or female. It doesn't matter. This girl or this man feels like your person is studying well to them. And they want to take whatever this is from you. Everything you do, this person wants to see it fail. So that they can pick it up and do it themselves. <sighs> Come on, bro. An old friend of me. This, so this could be an old friend of yours that's dating your, your ex or something right now. Like, this could have already happened. But like I said, when shit started going wrong with them... They finna start trying to come at you with some stupid shit because they're bored. And then they're truly mad because y'all ain't friends no more. But this person was never your fucking friend is what I'm saying. They constantly convince people that they are this and that. Yeah, but they're not you. Oh, I'm much better for you. I'm much better. Maybe you, maybe you bragged about this person's sex or something. I don't know. And they wanted to try it for themselves. Who knows? It seems like it's just something sexual here. Claiming credit over your success. And then they'll get with this nigga or this bitch like they made like they made this nigga or this bitch or something. What? What the hell are you talking about, girl? Yeah, this person's real snake. Like, I don't like this person for you. Not for you to not for them to be your friend. Spying on your family. A hater is looking to pick a fight with you. Like I said, now they now nothing something is not working out with the person. That they stole from you or something. And now they want to fight you about it. But they truly want to fight because they got played. And because you're not their friend anymore. We, If this ain't happening, it will. On a mission to turn others against you. Like, it's really something that this person wants people. They really want to turn people against you for some reason here. I don't know. Let's get one final card here. Thank you, Dad, for the messages. You may even find out that this person is pregnant. Okay, bitch, congrats. What the hell? What does that got to do with you? It's this person's guilty conscience eating them the fuck up. That ain't got shit to do with you. You moved on. You moved away. You did what you did. You got a baby. Good. What the hell? Why is this person trying to drag you back into it? It's like they need you to be a part of something very badly. They need your energy. That's why they didn't really truly want you to break up with this person. They were feeding off of your energy and your person's energy or something. But now that you done got the fuck on from this man or this woman, this person doesn't know what the fuck the purpose is anymore. Like, okay, well, I successfully stole this person, so what now? Because this person ain't even shit. What do I do now? I don't even have my friend. So, yeah, let me get mad and take it out on her or him because now I'm pregnant or this bitch is pregnant now. But you're already in another union or there's another union coming here. I just feel like you needed to see who this person truly was. Both of these people. You gonna be just, whoever you are, you gonna be just fine. Whoever you is, you're gonna be just fine. You're in your own little goddamn space. You're literally in your own space. You're not worried about shit. Nobody's talking about what they're doing, what they're trying to do, what they did. You don't care. And it's like I said, what's killing this person is the fact that y'all are not friends anymore. They wanted to keep some kind of line of communication open with you and your partner. Like, they wanted you, you and your person to stay together. 
but only because they were feeding off of the both of you. They were getting some kind of adrenaline rush, like, yeah, that bitch don't even know we fucking, or they nigga don't know we fucking, or something like that. I feel like it was already something sexually going on with them anyway. But they didn't want y'all to break up because they were still, you know, wanting to be around you. So in some kind of way, you're not going to be friends with this person anymore or you're not friends with whoever this is. Oh, they're pissed off and they can't walk away. It's something here. This is whatever the fuck. They're not a twin flame. None of this shit. This is all karmic. What I said. It's all karmic. It's karmic debt here to pay. This is a karmic ass fucking relationship. So it's not like you're missing out on anything. This friend is karmic and this person is karmic. If anything, I feel like you escaped some shit right here. What I said, fam? Masculine. This person, mama, also going to be mad because you used to do this bitch mama's hair or something, fam. Masculine used to cut this nigga daddy hair or some shit. I don't know what the fuck this is, but this person right here, they don't get the perks and benefits of being your friend. And they're going to be very upset. You don't see how all of this plays out, okay? I'm going to leave it right here, fam. Masculine, remember that God loves you and so do I.